think it's a good idea to find a dog for my mum, a small dog, just so she's got that company at home. It will just give her someone else in the house to talk to and chat to and someone to wake up to in the morning. Do you want a minute, Aunt Janet? Yeah. Yeah, just a minute. Mum's got a tissue. <laughs> I think it'll just give her that that love. I will feel happy because I don't obviously I don't live with my mom and I think I would feel a lot happier knowing my mom's got someone at home. I was recently widowed, so Oh I'm sorry. Um and I've been married for four to six years, so Oh goodness, it's a long time. A lifetime. So I thought it would be nice to have a dog so that I'm not coming home to an empty house. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think we're all in shock. It happened quite soon, didn't it? Because it's only six weeks ago that Aunt Janet lost Uncle Gilbert. She's still grieving, and I think it would be so easy just to stay at home and just sit and just, just grieve. When you've got a dog, you almost feel more of a purpose, don't you? You can get your dog, Absolutely. you can walk for yeah. miles, but you can clear your mind yeah. and you've yeah. got your little companion there. Well, we'll go away and we'll have a yeah. good look through all the dogs we've got on site that are available for rehoming. And if we find any, we'll come back and we'll have a chat about them. Thank you. Thank you. Gilbert, he was a beautiful man because he was English and Burmese and he had the most beautiful black hair, great big brown eyes, great big long eyelashes. Absolutely beautiful. Kind, caring, loving. What more do you want? Oh, come on, Bruce. I think you need a little boy. You need a little man There's in There's something life. special, exactly. There's something special with a, a boy and, a, a, and his mum. Yeah. When we got married, we saved up and we bought a house the usual, ordinary couple. That's all we were, just ordinary. But we loved each other very much. Us two, we're going to have to really hold back, aren't we? It's going to be your dog, but we're going to want to get all of him. Perhaps we pay a price for everything, and there's even a price for love. That's what I'm paying now, and it's very difficult. It's left a great big gaping hole in my life, and I'd like a companion. This is Bruce. So he usually really likes his toys, but since he's been on site, he's just been more of a lap dog, so he probably is. There you go. <laughs> he's probably going to be straight up and all over you. This is his favourite thing to do. Sit. Sit. Oh, good, good boy. boy. Good boy. There you go. He he's quite gentle hand? when taking his treats. He does take them really nicely. Oh, but yeah, that's probably oh. where he's going to stay. <laughs> he likes me. Oh, oh he's oh. beautiful. Oh. Oh, Brucey. You have sold yourself yeah. in that little move. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. Oh, oh that is so cute. What a beautiful boy. This is the most excitement I've seen from Janet. She looks quite yeah. smitten, doesn't she? Just have a bit of a cuddle with oh, me, Rachel, then. Look right. at Charlie. Oh. He's happy. I'm going to cry. He's You'll be able to go for walkies, won't you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Within about 10 minutes of being on her own with Bruce walking round, Auntie Janet's smiling and laughing and he's, he's pulling her round and round and round again. Your life has changed a lot like mine, hmm? Not nice, is it? I look after you, darling. It's a new beginning for both of us, really. Off we go.